If you're not running Facebook ads as a real estate agent, then you are losing out on a lot of money. My client Diana got $14,000 in commissions in just two months of working with us. And that's not all. She had two more in escrow and nine total transactions. Just two months in working with us. Damon was working on three transactions after just 13 days of running his Facebook ads. And Heather woke up to nine leads the very first day. Now I'm gonna show you how all three of these real estate agents are utilizing Facebook ads for their business. I'm gonna show you the exact targeting, the exact ad copy, all of the things that you need to know to duplicate those results. First, I'm gonna show you how to go in Facebook Ads Manager and actually create the ads in there. Step by step, I'll show you what objective to use, what targeting to use, the ad copy, the image, the lead form, landing page, what you need to know, right? Step by step, the whole way. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how you can bypass Facebook Ads Manager and use a really, really simple three-click system that is really designed for people who have no tech skills whatsoever. And the greatest thing is all of the targeting and all of the objectives and all the things to put in there are already done for you, right? So it's just super simple three clicks. So stick to the end to see that. But first, we're gonna dive into Facebook Ads Manager to show you the exact step-by-step -step system we use. All right, so we are in the Facebook Ads Manager here. And what we're going to do, obviously, this is a demo account. So what we're gonna do is click on Create here on the top left. And the goal of this ad is going to be for buyer leads in your market. Now, what that means is we need to generate leads, AKA information, right? Name, email, phone number, things like that. So we're gonna click on leads here and click on continue. From here, we're going to click on the lead campaign. So we're gonna call that whatever that looks like for this campaign. So let's say we wanted to do Plano, buyer leads and then it could be for a specific price point so we could do let's say 400 is a decent number 400,000 and then in brackets I like to put the objective so we're gonna do lead forms today which I'll show you uh, what that looks like in a second and then we'll put the date right whatever that date is so that is the campaign name now under here are special ad categories we do want to click on uh, housing because this is a housing ad um, that limits our options as far as targeting goes, but I'll, what I'll explain in a second is that doesn't matter as much as we think. So from here, we're gonna click on next. Now for the ad set name, I would just call it uh, Plano 15 mile radius, um, and then whatever interests you put. For this video, we'll do RE interests, so real estate interests, and then again, the campaign type and the date. And then moving along here, we're gonna do instant forms. So not messenger, we're definitely gonna do instant forms here. And then scroll down. We're gonna click on the page that we're using and then scroll down a little bit more. The budget, I would start off with anywhere um, in the ballpark of $10 a day. Um, I like to start off at $15 a day and I like to start at the next morning. So whatever the date of the next morning would be is what you'll do there. Um, and then for interests, uh, the only thing we can do here is detailed targeting, interest-based. And from there, all we're gonna choose is Zillow, and then whatever that comes with that. Trulia could be any of these, right? Uh, I find that just utilizing those two works really well. We've been testing a lot, and even no interests work really well. Especially if you if you start to utilize Facebook ads a lot in your business, then Facebook will kind of recognize who in your market is going to click on your ads and then it'll show, show your ads to relevant people. Uh, from there, we're gonna choose manual placements and we're gonna scroll down and click on all of these and we are just going to utilize feeds this one right so this would be Instagram feeds Facebook feed Instagram Explore home so those are the only places we're gonna show up on Facebook and Instagram okay so we're gonna click on next from here is the actual ad that we're going to run right so uh, the ad name we're gonna say Plano homes under whatever or whatever your list is right um, so we could do 
pool homes, we could do new construction homes, we could do all sorts of off-market homes is a really, really good one. Uh, but this is probably the most classic and the most, the easiest to start with, right? So we're scroll down here. Um, we're going to choose an image. So we're gonna click on add image. We're just gonna use one that we have on the page. Use that one, click on next, done. Don't have to worry about any of that nonsense. From here, we're gonna go grab our uh, add copy so you can grab this these are all of our facebook ad templates you can grab that link in the description grab those totally free what we're gonna do here is just copy copy this copy come back to facebook paste that in okay so this spacing looks really good over here it looks kind of crazy over here uh, but we want this to be right next to that and then all the other spacing. So I include follow here in case you have a link, a landing page or things like that. We're not going to use a link. So instead we're gonna say either tap or, so click learn more for the list of homes, right? And the headline would be um, Plano homes under 400K. And then call to action, we're gonna click on this, click on learn more. And there is our app. From there, we're gonna click on create form. Yep. And then we'll say Plano homes under 400K. And then I would put the date on here so you know when you created that. And then I'm gonna say more volume, no intro. So I'm gonna skip straight ahead to here. Uh, so I'm gonna add just the first name. So contact view, no user information, first name user information, all the last name, and then again, the phone number. I'm gonna put first name first, last name here, email, phone number. And then I'm gonna say, 100K, right? Uh, by providing the info below. So, uh, that is looking good. Enter your privacy policy here and then a message for leads at the end. You can do a few things here. One, you say, hey, thanks, you're all set. Click the link below and get instant access. If you have a really good quality IDX website, and you can send them to your website to get people in uh, and familiar with your site there. So you'd say something like, thanks, but wait one more step. Click the link below to get an instant access to your properties. You could send them to your uh, messenger bot if you have one which I would set up through Minichat. So you can grab that link from Minichat. So those are two of my favorites. The other thing that you can do is you can have them actually give you a call or just visit the website. So I would say probably utilize your IDX website if you have it. Say thanks, but wait one more step. Click the link below to get instant access. Right? The link would be to your website and then you would say, get homes in Plano under 4 okay. right? So that would be a very clickable link, right? The other thing that you can do is have them schedule a consultation or whatever you call that with them. But these are really good action items to do on the last step. You click publish and then click publish on the actual Facebook ads manager and then you have your ad set up. Now what I want to show you is how to set up Facebook ads without all the Facebook ads manager. That took a lot of steps, right? And there's a lot of things that you can mess up and a lot of things that you could do, could not do, right? But we have systematized this whole process into a simple system software that allows you to do three clicks, fill out a little bit of information, and you'll have your ads set up and running. So let's dive in and see what that looks like. All right, so now that we're in the software here, you can see all of the types of ads that you can run. We've got ads for first time home buyers. If you have a current listing or maybe an open house or maybe a house that just sold, you can choose listings. You have a list of homes option, list of homes under, pool homes, construction homes, condo homes, whatever, right? Community homes. You've got seller leads and then mortgage offers. So if you have somebody that does down payment assistance or you know low or no down or VA or whatever, right? You can choose mortgage offers. So we're gonna choose, um, let's just choose listings. 
and see all the ads that you could run, right? So you've got just sold, a couple of those options. You've got the open house option. And then scrolling down, we have a couple of just li listed options. You can see here that there are some weird tags here, right? These are things that you'll see in a second where you can fill out uh, based on the listing that you have, right? So the city of the listing, and then it will auto populate in these areas. So let's say we wanna do this just listed ad. We click on choose this template here. So there's our first click. Uh, let's say the city is Plano. Uh, it's a four bed, two and a half bath. It's got a, a beautiful backyard. Um, it has a pool, awesome pool. And it has an office, right? Whatever. Uh, obviously you'd wanna spruce these up a little bit, but those are, that's really basic information, right? So we're gonna use a lead form. Uh, just like I showed you in the Facebook Ads Manager, but we've already done what's in the lead form for you, so you don't have to mess with choosing which option is best. We're gonna choose an option that we know from a lot of data with clients is best to perform. We're gonna choose our daily budget, 10, and then for here, so that would be $10 a day, or actually we'll do 15, um, and the website would be what you're going to send them to. So it could be, you know, whatever, Adam, little Adam sells Plano.com, right? And then optional info, you do want to click on this because this is a listing of yours. All of the targeting is done for you. You could expand this if you want. And you, you do want to come in here and add your city. So we'll do Plano. It'll show up Plano, Texas, and it'll do a 15 mile radius around Plano, Texas. You could even come in here and do the address of the listing that you have. All of that is done for you. And then uh, click on the uh, image here. You'll click on upload media and upload the image that you want. And then we can come in here. We don't want to mess with the ad text um, because we already have filled that out for you. Come in here and click on your privacy policy and then click on the pixel that you want uh, from your uh, Facebook ad manager, the ad account that you will have connected. And then you click on launch campaign and boom, your ad is complete. So that is how easy it is to set up a Facebook ad in our automated agent software. If you want access to this, click on the description, the link in the description below, get access to uh, this awesome software. The beautiful thing is we also have a human plus artificial intelligence AI follow-up system so that if you're waking up to nine leads every single morning, then we will be following up for them 24 seven human follow-up plus AI 24 seven to follow up with leads. We have an insane amount of leads that we're booking into appointments for our clients utilizing this exact system. All right, guys, so that's exactly how to set up Facebook ads for real estate agents. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'd love to help you out. If you try this, comment down below. I'd love to help you out. We have Facebook ad templates that you can use if you want to use Facebook ads manager. If you want to use our system, our three click Facebook ad system with our software plus our automated agent follow up system human plus AI. We have a 30 day challenge. That link is in the description below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your real estate agents, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.